Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the September 9th Select Board meeting. Uh, we have a relatively light agenda for tonight. So, um, first thing, uh, we have our consent agenda. We have the minutes for September 2nd. So moved. And we have the war warrant 21. So, it's so moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Are we having technical difficulties? Are we okay? No, we're good now. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so no one's here for public comment, so we'll skip that. I'll just do one announcement first. I'll do oh, it yeah. before and um, at the end of the meeting also, just for those that might not be with us right now. Uh, we'd like you to please join us in a memorial ceremony to remember those who lost their lives on 9-11. When? Friday, 9-11-2015 at 9.45 a.m. at the Safety Complex on E Street. And this is in honor and remembrance of those who lost their lives on, in 9-11. Okay. Is there any other announcements? Or? All right. So let's uh, do old business number one, our discussion of uh, FY16 budget adjustments. So we got some different additional information from the town administrator today on numbers for colas and steps and so forth. Um, and then we're waiting for a couple more numbers on. So we have some committees that are working hard on getting us some numbers. Uh, so those, those particularly having to do with building projects, the last uh, 10 or so articles. And, um, and then we're, we're tightening up uh, some of the other article numbers, um, but uh, that's not really waiting for something. It's just us trying to be more precise. Okay. So for the budget adjustments, why don't we just take this information under advisement, and then we have a, we do have a tri-board meeting next, next Wednesday, next 6 Wednesday. p.m. Does this information also pass to the tri-board? I can certainly make sure that it happens. Thank you. And then um, if we have time after the SWAT, Presentations. We will. We can talk more about the um, the budget adjustment then. Mm -hmm. So, uh, <clears throat> thinking back on that budget adjustment, I mean, we really did when we talked about um, salaries for this year. We took out the colas and um, we took out the step raises and set mm -hmm. them aside for to deal with this time. Um, we have got. Well, we're we're negotiating with all three of our unions now. One's maybe wrapped up soon two we're just starting so we, we do kind of need to think about whether we want to put a placeholder number in the budget now that might be the cola number and that at least gives the non-union their colas mm -hmm. and put a, a number in for steps for the non-union and potentially we could think about putting in a number for the unions for their steps because steps are would be pretty easy to calculate and it's not something um, it's not something we really we ne negotiate. That's something that's usually in the contract and it comes regularly. So th that would be the thing to think about is how do we want to do that? Do we want to do those numbers now, even though we may find out we may have to adjust them again because we haven't mm -hmm. finished our negotiations? A placeholder should be kept anyways. Yes. But we need to think about how we, I mean, we can put some number in there and then we actually haven't told, we can make adjustments up to town meeting and then we may have to make adjustments further on. So that's what we need to think about. and kind of realize what, we, what our goal should be. Um, okay, any other discussion about yeah, Sounds uh, good. For the, um, just a question about the tri-board, just because you, you mentioned it, um, is that agenda is not set yet, correct? No, but we have the, the only thing that's set is the interviews. The SWOT analysis? You have the uh, DPW and the town hall staff SWOT mm -hmm. analyses. That's, that's the main thing for tri-board mm -hmm. right now. Okay. Um, and I was just thinking what would be, I think what might be helpful, uh, just as we're going through and we're listening to these SWOT analyses, um, and, I, and I think David actually produced this at one point, but, but I think it would be helpful to get it from the department heads to um, organization charts for each functional area, and like, like but not, not just the number of bodies, but the, like a description of the functions with, that each person is performing. Yeah, sort of the you know, individual areas and what they do for us. Right. Job descriptions, basically, what they do. Yeah, but just, yeah. you know, bulleted by, you know, mm -hmm. key functions that are performed by individuals because, you know, 
we're not always that close to what's going on in some of the departments, and I would find it really Just helpful. a good little reminder. Hmm? A quick reminder for you when you're looking at it and yeah. you're talking about it. That's exactly. Like a, but is that something that we should ask the department heads to, to do? Or, mm -hmm. right? I mean, mm -hmm. so you, yeah, I mean, you, you can't just whip that off either, so. Well, do we have them? Do we have them? We have a large one for the town, the town yeah. which is part of the budget book, but uh, right. we don't have the breakdown. Take the building inspector's office, for example. We don't have the breakdown of the different uh, inspectors who work uh, within that uh, within that budget line. Yeah, so that, I guess that would be something to just ask them to give us a breakdown of who does what. Okay. Could we <coughs> ask them to produce that? I mean, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, just one sheet. The general <coughs> sheet. Yeah. For next week, it would be the, great if they could. Yeah. For when they present their SWAT. So you need two for next week. Well, no, the town hall employees will be here next week. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. 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 Very good. And is the format for that you're going to garner the information and then think about it and, and respond at a future date? Yes. Okay. It's kind of hard to do too much else. I mean, so with the time frame on the what police and fire, sure. Too, so mm -hmm. I'm sure having several town hall employees plus. Highway. 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 Yes. It's going to be take up full. full. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, is there any more discussion about <clears throat> the the fall time meeting warrant that we want to talk about? David kind of went over it when he was going over the budget too. I, I'm just a little concerned. I, I know the building committee is doing great work and things like that, and I really support them with what they're doing. But that is an awful ambitious. Now, since we don't have any numbers, we actually don't know how ambitious it is. But it's an awful ambitious. Uh, town meeting regarding all that. There may be a, there maybe should be a priority, um, their priority as to how they'd like these things addressed. Um, just to comment off on that as well as bring you up to speed on some of the recommendations that are coming forward. Um, we have, we have money, we don't have enough money for everything that everybody is asking for. So, you know, at some point we're going to be making some choices. Um, let, let's just make them know, know that in advance so that they can prioritize it at a meeting before right. mm -hmm. so before they come and talk to us that they understand you know that there's not money for everything and I, I hope they already do I mean these are what needs to be done but eight articles and if they were all funded would be a relatively significant amount of money mm -hmm. so I, I think better forewarned and the other recommendation coming forward is, is that article four for the uh, command vehicle fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars uh, there's simply no way for us to do this, so we're going to we're recommending that we drop Article Four. Why? And it's reimbursement, say, right? It's not a reimbursement. It's uh, money that's within what we were. What we received is a earmark within the FY16 state budget for sixty-eight thousand dollars. We were hoping to transfer fifty of that to the town to reimburse the town for its expenses for a command vehicle last year. There's no mechanism, no legal way of getting us to transfer that money from the state budget to our budget. So <clears throat> what we'll do is for the second cruiser, we'll pay for that out of the state budget. So that'll take approximately $50,000 of pressure off the town budget. So it achieves the same end at the end, okay. but there's no mechanistic way for us to transfer the money. Have we purchased the first vehicle? Yeah, yes. Decided. This we is ordered, a reimbursement. Uh, the police, we, we, bought, we bought a police, police cruiser. The pol police cruiser and the command vehicles. Have both been purchased? Yeah. I and, I, and I talked to, just to follow up on that, uh, I talked to the fire chief and he understands that we need a contract from the state in order to access the 68,000, so that's a priority. If it's going to be cut, the season when a 9C cut at the state level would happen would be in December. So we're trying to get that contract to you as soon as possible and trying to get the uh, 68 spent as soon as possible so it's no longer subject to uh, a cut at the governor's office. Right now our state revenues are doing just fine and we don't anticipate the state getting itself into the kind of fiscal trouble it did last year, but that can change as we all know. And then just if you had we we got our extra snow <coughs> money from the state too that survived the cuts. Mm -hmm. So that's a thirty yeah. thirty four thousand uh 
34, well, 40, right? 45,000. Will that go back into Snow and Ice Fund, the re that revolving account? Comes to the general fund. General fund. So virtually the same means? By virtually the same means? Uh, it's a transfer of money to the town. Okay, so is there any... Oh, just, what we're on? I had a question about the, the municipal building committees. Are any of this, uh, these articles, are they thinking of getting any monies from CPA on any of them? It's kind of hard to tell by what they need it for, but are any of these... They discussed they that at uh, the meeting last night, and they are going to try to get some CPA money. For some of those? Okay. Great. You. There's Thank also you. some Russell School money that could be available for some of these projects, so we can certainly fund up to $100,000 of repairs at the Russell School without impacting our other financial issues. Okay. you have any idea what the total number is that we're able to reappropriate from monies that were saved by projects being... Uh, uh, projects being done for less than the appropriated or uh, monies, because uh, I know we were talking about that at a, about three meetings ago, and it looked like there was a relatively significant amount there as well. Right, right, there is, and I don't have that figure off the top of my head, okay. but that is also another source of funding. Um, so I just have I want to talk about two of them. Uh, so Laurel Drive mm -hmm. and. Holly Road. Yes. <coughs> so we do have to schedule a viewing, don't we, before town meeting? Right. I talked to I talked to um, Ms. Camilla World Peace uh, this very afternoon about Laurel <coughs> Drive, uh, and I talked to Mike Klamoski. We're going to try to set something up for the end of September for a layout uh, of of the formal layout of the road. With respect to Holly Road, uh, you wrote that letter to the planning board, and we're still within the 45 day period for their review and we can maybe do a layout with uh, with Holly Road at the same time as we do Laurel at the end of September. Okay. And then Holly Road, does that move forward any? Are they they asked for some information? Right. This is a repeat of an information request that uh, I responded to back in June or July. I we when we, whenever we were over at the public safety complex. Uh, so we have provided them with information. Uh, we don't have any other progress to report there. Does anybody else from Holly Lane, and anybody that's watching on TV from Holly Lane, is anybody else talking to us about this, or is there one person who's the... One person tends to be the point person, right? And everybody's now. talking to that one person? I believe so. Okay. All right. Laurel, uh, Lorena Lane, uh, I think I have a different number for us there instead of. Uh, Which article is that? I believe that's article. So we, we thought that we had gone down, that the original appropriation was 275 from sewer reserves. Mm -hmm. the, the initial bid was 244 and then because of all the discounts that we've been able to achieve through the, the lowering of uh, petroleum-based products, uh, that number now looks like 197,000 and change. So all of that, the difference between 275 and 197 goes back into sewer reserves. Plus, we we saved uh, two hundred thousand dollars. We earned two hundred thousand dollars in sewer reserves at the end of fifteen. So I think we've almost entirely restored this uh, this uh, amount. Okay. Good. So one more before we go on to our appointment. So articles thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. We talked about renumbering, or reordering them. In my book, I've got them switched around. Okay. So. Um, did, did you pass that on to the... I did talk to Andy Klopacki about this, and uh, I need to renew that conversation. Okay. Because actually, as I was thinking about that later on after the meeting, the only thing I was thinking of that they may not want to do the authorization to sell if there's not going to be a trust fund set up. But mm -hmm. I think, I know I'm in favor of setting up the trust fund mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. this money, so I don't see a problem with reordering them. So. Mm -hmm. My concern would be that no one wants to sell the park. Right. Then there's no need for a trust fund or a survey. Mm -hmm. um, 
but if people say yes we're going to sell the park i 100 percent support and want to see that money go into a trust fund mm -hmm. that goes to that so okay yep. all right so we'll stop that for a little bit and take our 715 appointment we have eversource here formerly known as wemco they're requesting a new poll to be placed on 27 middle street that's correct uh, my name is Don Fish. I'm a field technician. I'm filling in for a field technician, Bill LeBlanc. Uh, we're representing the Stanley property uh, at 27 Middle Street. And we're requesting a poll to be approximately uh, 25 feet from the center of the line of Middle Street in front of the residence of 27 Middle Street, who is the soul of butter. Uh, this will provide power for his building that is uh, now his electrical service is too low and it's improperly uh, guide and anchored to a present private property pole. So this will lift it up over the road and give him the proper clearance over to his building. I understand Michael Mosky has looked at this and has given us this approval, so I'm going to make a motion that we allow. Same, same with the chief of police. Second. Second. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other discussion? Is this the wire that often falls into the middle of the road? Does it often? Yeah, because there's a couple. I hope there's a road, what yeah. wire that I drive through every once in a while. And I find it laying in the road, so I guess. Is, Maybe it's something else. is there. it right there at 27? It's around that area. Then I hope that will solve the problem if that's the case. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have a motion and a second. No more discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you very you much. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so on to old business number three. Um, so, Mass Dot, this is the Route 9 participation contract for the water line replacement. So, this will be our agreement with Mass Highway to fund the water line work while they do the actual road widening. This has been reviewed by Mr. Klamowski and he makes a recommendation that we sign this. And when do they anticipate the work to start? That would be June of 2016. I assume our attorneys looked at this as well. can't change it. I don't believe so. <coughs> so this is, is this a, this is a 10% of cars. That's the one thing I didn't see in here, if this was a 10% agreement or not. 10% agreement. Or is it a 100? We're going to pay 100% of this cost? Right, this is entirely our cost. Okay. So moved. Second. No, second. Second. Any more discussion? Since we're talking about Route 9, I did talk to Rich Massey, the acting director mm -hmm. of District 2, and I think we've uh, come to an agreement on how to take care of the flowers yeah. and plantings. Do share. They won't be there. <laughs> what kind of cactus did we care get? Of it <laughs> I think we're getting grass. Yep. So. I saw I saw the emails on my e on my email before I came, but I didn't actually get a chance to read them. They were just quick little blurbs. But it looks like we've, uh, I talked to them and it's been removed, so there's no need to do any plantings. Um, they do remember that it was the historical commission who asked for this back in 2010, five years wow. ago. So we probably just need to sit back and talk to people and see if we want to do something on a smaller scale, and then if we want to do something on a smaller scale, we'll need to get a access agreement with the state to do that mm -hmm. so we could probably maybe if they felt the need to do planters of some nature yes mm -hmm. which would be too overburdensome for somebody maybe we can uh, i know there's a whole bunch of really nice planters with really nice flowers <laughs> those ones on the umass that look very nice there we go um, okay so motion and a second all those in favor Aye. 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 We didn't do that twice, did we, Bruno? No. No. Okay. Um, RFP for IT Consulting Award. Ms. Keegan, you were going to get with the town administrator? Uh, yes, we did. And um, 
David has the write-up in here. So David and I met uh, late last week? Friday. Friday, Friday last week. Um, and went through both of the proposals. We went through the ranking criteria, which is um, provided to you here. And just went through systematically um, in the categories were highly advantageous, advantageous, not advantageous, and unacceptable. And um, based on the analysis, uh, David's and my scores were very consistent. And we uh, clear cut. Very clear cut. And we deemed uh, Northeast IT best suited from the proposal submitted to do the work. Um, their proposal, as you can see, came in at $16,000. Um, we have a budget of 25, so we were pleased to see that. And also, um, they uh, had a fair number of references from other municipalities, um, and very specifically, Franklin Council of Governments and Linda Dunlavey um, has indicated um, She's very favorable about the work that they've done. I would highly recommend them to us. Okay. So we're recommending that we uh, move forward with Monkey Safety. That's a motion. I'll make a motion that we uh, move forward hiring Northeast IT for the uh, information technology project. Second. Any other discussion? Uh, since the, not that I want, did, did we accomplish everything? Uh, via the budget that we thought we were going to, or is there other things that we left out that could be added at this point in time to be more substantial? I. Um, and then uh, so we put together a comprehensive uh, uh, pricing sheet with uh, with everything itemized out. We were at the sixteen thousand covers the entire scope of work on that pricing sheet. We're not in a position where we're saying, well, we have to pick and choose. We can do the whole scope of work for 16,000. And all but our I departments, all of our departments have been part of this. Uh -huh. yes. They will be. They, the, and that's their proposal was very clear. But I, I thought, Jerry, maybe the road that you were going down is it's quite possible that as an outcome of the $16,000 work that they do, that there may be some relatively inexpensive um, follow-up follow -up and fixes that we may want to avail ourselves mm -hmm. of. If, you know, we have allocated 25, and we're currently only spending 16. But that would be an outcome of the work that they do. I would presume to know what that might be now. It also gives us a $9,000 cushion in case we think of something later on that comes out of this whole process, or if something goes boom in the meantime, we have to address it. Just to disclose uh, fully our evaluation process, one of the things that we were supposed to evaluate was the quality of the interview. Uh, given that there are only two applicants and Northeast IT was so clearly superior in their, their written presentation, Molly and I uh, agreed to dispense with the interview process. It's just seen that as adding more time and little value to our, our overall recommendation. Motion is second on the floor. Any other discussion? Good. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, IFB for the DPW roof replacement request to award. Right after I met with Molly, we opened up bids for the uh, uh, garage roof replacement project. The low bidder is the U.S. Metal Roofing Distributors Incorporated, which submitted a price of 98600 uh, Adding a contingency of 10%, that brings up the total project cost to 108460 uh, the funding plan is uh, as follows. We have the original article for the roof replacement at 90000 There's the DPW freeze trim boards, which we had appropriated $3,000 for that, thinking that that would be a separate project, but we ultimately rolled that into the same scope of work as the roof replacement, so that money is available. And then Chapter 90 funds, we had a conversation with the state in Chapter 90. Is, el is an eligible funding source for the contingency. So that would be 18th, uh, the difference in the contingency. So that'd be $15,460 in order to match that expected price. Uh, you have $201,000 in change of Chapter 90 available to you. So we, we don't like spending Chapter 90. 
uh, on this project, but given how much we have uh, uh, in reserve and uh, the need to get this project moving forward, we're making that recommendation. Truly, though, they've done three roofs in town and come in on budget each and every time, and the $9,000 of the contingency leaves it only at an actual usage of about $5,000. Correct. Any other discussion? I'll make a motion to accept the bid of U.S. Metal Roofing for with the contingency that would be $108,000. $108,600. $108, Second. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 So, Commonwealth Compact. Right. And I ask that we defer this. We've not been able to do the work with the departments in order to have an application fully formed at this time. So, if we could put this off one week, that would be fine. Okay. The Wasn't there a, a, a priority on this? Yeah. Wasn't Linda telling us that much of the uh, much of the monies has been committed already, and first come, first serve. Uh, in a sense, I'd say yes. But then again, for us, I think the biggest bang for, for us in this program is going to be it's, uh, extra bonus points for any grant we apply for. Okay. Um, so, okay. so I'm okay waiting. Let's see. Well, I don't have a, a choice at this point, but I mean, a, a really hard, firm commitment for next mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, we can decide to do it anyhow and choose. That's how easy the application yeah. is. Yeah, so why don't well, you just take your vote now? What? That's. I thought you wanted to have the department heads suggest. Well, vote to participate in the uh, Commonwealth Compact, and then we can uh, pick and uh, present our ideas for how we're going to how we're going to uh, participate at your next meeting. Because there's a matrix, and some things are priority, and sometimes okay. they're not a priority. So we don't have to do that at the same time. I we can go so. ahead. I, I, I'm absolutely Second. motion that we participate here. Okay. Here we have a second and a motion. All, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I was going to do it last week. <coughs> I said wait. Well, I was glad to hear the recommendation. Okay. So that brings us to new business. And our new business item is to review the executive session minutes and discuss releasing minutes. So we all receive the minutes for all these meetings. There's the January 7th, January 14th, January 21st, February 4th, 11th, March 11th, March 18th, April 1st, um, June 3rd, June 10th, July 1st, August 5th, and August 12th. Um, there's been, and all these are recommended for release. So, no. so you should have received no. uh, by email a recommendation okay. sheet. Right. But just to make it easy, um, the January 14th, January 21st, January, uh, February 4th, and February 11th uh, are the only ones that I think we can release at this time. Everything else involves um, contract negotiations or personnel issues which are ongoing. And we want to go as a partial release. Right. right. February 4th would be a partial release because that involved contract negotiations which have since concluded, but there was also a, uh, a contract negotiation discussion that is ongoing. Okay. So those, those are the four minutes that we think we can release or release in part. Any other discussion about them? No. Motion? Motion to release January 14th, January 21st, February 4th in part, and February 11th total. Any more discussion? Is there a second? I'll second that. Any other discussion? All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'm going to abstain since I wasn't on the board. Okay. Such a stickler for details. <laughs> John's not here. Somebody's got it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that kind of wraps up most of our business. So do we have any other announcements? Just a reminder for the board that uh, next Monday, uh, let's see if I can find the time for this, 
there's a stakeholder uh, interview uh, having to do with the master plan and our time is to meet uh, over at the se senior center Monday evening from 7 to 8 p.m. Next Monday. Next Monday, the 14th. That's the master plan? Master plan. So I guess we should post that as a meeting since we may have a quorum up there. Okay. supposed to be at a library building committee meeting. Um, you're, this is the senior center? Yes. Yeah. Are you, are so you, I was going to make it too. So there's two. Well, yeah. So I guess we still should post it because there could be three of us there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Any other an announcements? We should we do it one more time? Uh, okay. One more time, but I, I want to do one quick thing after that. Well, you want to do yours first? Okay, I'll do it. Okay. So, um, our next meeting is the 16th. Mm -hmm. We want to have a tri board meeting at 3. At 3. At uh, 6. six. <laughs> Sorry. Go for it. Uh, if you yeah. like a tri board yeah, meeting. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> so, so we have the DPW, the town hall doing their SWATs. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk a little bit about the budget, FY16 budget adjustments. And then we'll put a little bit, of, we'll put the, um, and you'll tell me you warrant on there so we can talk about it if we want to. So those will be the items for the tri-board meeting. We will probably won't get to them all, but the hall three will be there. Mm -hmm. And then what do we have for the agenda? Right now for the agenda, we have, I think, some hearings coming up. Um, we have hopefully sealers and weights and measures. Uh, there's some resignations over at the uh, police department that we need to deal with. Um, we have some water abatements. Water um, abatements, goals and objectives. Special one day license. Executive session having to do with dispatch. Okay. Uh, and I think that's it for right now. So our next, well, the goals and objectives are to go over your goals and mm -hmm. objectives and go over the fire chief's goals and objectives. Mm -hmm. So no one's actually sent me anything. If you have some, please yes. kind of move it. Oh, yeah, actually, you did send me. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, let me know, and then we'll go on from there. Um, and then the other issue is, um, oh man, I threw myself off. Goals and objectives, and then, man, I hate my new dead space. You're allowed. I know. Oh, so we need to maybe schedule, and on top of the executive session for dispatch, an executive session to talk about um, DPW and police because we haven't really talked about that and we have our first meeting coming up the 1st of September, right? 1st of first October. 1st of October, sorry. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it was a long day. It so are we day. are we scheduled to meet the 23rd sure. or the 30th? We're not scheduled to meet the, the 23rd or the 30th. Yeah. Yeah. Your meeting with, uh, with uh, police and DPW is on the 30th. Oh, our, our yes, our Negotiation meeting. Right, that's at four o'clock on the thirtieth. Right, we don't have a. We're at three. Yeah, but we have no other. We have no other uh, select board meeting. We between. don't have a select board for you at those yes. dates. Actually, the DPW was at three, and the police are at four that day. Right. Oh. No, I think uh, no, you're reversed. Four. Four. Because I don't get out of work until three. Three for police. Four. No, that wasn't right. Uh, we let's ask them to switch. We let's ask them to switch that it. day because of my work schedule. I don't get out until four. Okay, so the thirtieth. Did you do that? That's fine. Yeah, okay. I mean, that was the one, and then the other <coughs> one we had said um, um, the sixth of October was going to be police at three, and then DPW at four. Sure. Okay. That work for you, Molly? Is that good for you? Yeah. I'm just, so the thirtieth, I've got. So three. that's at three. And then when again, Joyce? Uh, uh, October 6th. Six. You'll be at three. Four, rather. Okay. So on the 30th, okay, we're... I have it at four. Yeah. Okay. So on the 30th, are we doing uh, police at four? Yes. And DPW when? Three. three. Let's just ask them to switch them. I think they have already, but that's what I had in my book. So I, I, the lawyer probably won't have any problem with that. It's just the guys. No. All right. I'll get on the email as soon as we The employees. Sorry. All right. 
-hmm. Okay, so no select board 23rd of the 30th. Correct. Okay. So that means that our last chance to talk before we go to negotiations will be the 16th. Right. So we need to have a little discussion to get all, all get on yeah. the same exactly. page. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. okay. So that's so we set the agenda for next meeting. Virtually. We set the tri board agenda. Can I actually, so one other thing I've just been thinking about in terms of the budget. Um, when we're looking, we have the five-year projection, right? And we haven't really spent an awful lot of time looking which at one, Which five-year projection? The capital? No. No, the, just the regular. The one we bet did back in July. Oh, yeah, the financial projection. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we all know that that financial projection is showing us going into a fairly significant deficit position not, not too long from now. And I'm just wondering if, um, if we might, as a board, take a look at some of the uncontrollable line items and kind of get our, our, our minds wrapped around those up front. Because the SWOT analyses for the departments really have um, I'm not going to say they have nothing to do with those line items because obviously anything that's personnel related, employee benefits and those types of things, of course, are, are wrapped into staffing. But when we're looking at state aid and when we're looking at um, Assessments. OPEB and, and some of those things, I'm wondering if we can isolate those and have a separate conversation about those because, quite frankly, it's a pretty good portion of the budget. And I think we'll we maybe talk about that sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe we can noodle on how best to present that, but. So we're going to meet in October, we'll meet the 7th, and we'll meet the, meet the, the 14th and the 21st will be our meeting dates. Yep. And the 21st is the day before the town meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So maybe that's something for the 14th of the. 14th. Actually, why don't we shoot for the 7th? For that? Yeah, because actually we can put it in the tri board have time for it mm -hmm. and then bring it into the meeting okay. um, and just so you know on the 7th I have a work commitment up until 7 o'clock that night yes. so I'm, I'm gonna be late to that meeting I'll be here but it won't be till later on so uh, would an OPEB discussion be better for another date then mm -hmm. well, let's put it on the 7th we'll just put it a little later we'll just make sure we do it later okay so we're all here all right the, um, I understand you guys met and we have some new information, so it's impossible. Right. Yeah. So that would be good. Linda Sanderson should be part of that conversation. Okay. So. Once more? Okay. Uh, in honor and remembrance, please join us in a memorial ceremony to remember those who lost their lives on 9-11. It will be Friday. 9-11-2015 at 9.45 a.m. at the Safety Complex on E Street. Uh, everyone is invited that would like to come and participate. Right. So is there any other announcements, comments? Okay. We had some conversation with uh, members of the planning board, just, you know, I guess everybody, I think, knows kind of about it, that they may be looking for an outside counsel uh, regarding something to do with the um, five colleges and just so if, I know they have a meeting before our next meeting so it may be I see it's listed as an agenda uh, next, Tuesday. Uh, next yeah. Tuesday so let's ju just be cognizant of it that we may need to you know react to something for that they're just looking for uh, outside counsel and it doesn't look like it's going to be very uh, costly to the town so sure. anything else well, for everybody who has popcorn and is waiting for a really long select board meeting, I must apologize. It's a short one tonight. So, do I have a motion? Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Good night, everybody.